Slave City family, what is up? And it's Bobby coming at you in front of Wendy's because we're continuing the theme of fast food reviews. And I'm very excited for this one because you've been requesting it a lot and there could be some really good options at Wendy's. I was doing my homework online and there are some solid options compared to other fast food. And there's keto diabetic options. And if you know how to swap items on the menu or what I call Bobbyfy them, you can get some pretty solid options. So let's get into Wendy's. The lunch rush is happening right now, so hopefully we can beat it uh, and order pretty much the whole menu. Tell you what to buy, what to avoid, and why, because these videos are all about if you have to come to Wendy's, what's the best quality stuff to put in your body. So wish me luck. Let's go in there and do our thing. Let's give it up to Wendy's. Uh, so far, this is the most beautiful looking fast food that I've been to yet. It actually looks appealing. The um, premium bun is like sparkling on top. I'm very excited. I have my highlighter. I've got my notes, which doesn't have as many red or um, yellow marks as it did the other week over at, uh, where was that Brad? Uh, Taco Bell, that was scary, right? So let's get straight into it. I'm very excited to try this. The Baconator, right? Great name, great marketing here at uh, Wendy's. Oh, wow. Mmm. Dang. Good job, chef. Oh my gosh. The bun, the premium bun is soft and pillowy. It's kind of like a potato roll. Whereas when you go to McDonald's and stuff, it has a different texture to it. Okay, that is good, but wait a minute. Even though it tastes good, the ingredients aren't ideal, but I bobby-fied it. And I have something here that could be one of the best things in the menu. This is the Baconator. Flavor is a 10 out of 10. That is like getting my brain super lit up right now. Here's the deal. It has two of the hamburger beef patties. What's the famous thing here at uh, Wendy's? Never frozen, fresh ground beef. Here's my problem. The ground beef is the same as basically any other um, fast food, minus the fact that it's fresh, never frozen. Their premium bun, that name's a little deceiving to me because the ingredients are quite the opposite. So it's your typical enriched flour bun, big deal. They all have that for fast food. But I don't love the fact that they're using GMO high fructose corn syrup and sugar, sugar as a sweetener in here. And they're using soybean oil, highly inflammatory, highly GMO, highly processed uh, uh, oil. So the question is, if this is the premium bun, what is the regular bun? Because that's super scary. So um, not the best bun. And to be honest, some of the buns at other fast foods might be slightly better, but the texture is soft and pillowy. Like I want to take a nap on that bun. It's so good. It has the processed American cheese. Um, the mayonnaise on there is made with soybean oil and corn syrup. The same at Chick-fil-A, the same at um, McDonald's. Um, the bacon on here, it's interesting. It's your standard bacon you would get at most any fast food, but it's super cheap. When you look at the ingredients and you see bacon that has sodium phosphate, sodium erythrobate, and sodium nitrate, those are three super bad, but super common preservatives. And something like sodium erythrobate, the primary goal of that is to make the bacon look more kind of pink right here. So that's what it does, but it's really bad for you. That being said, it's actually slightly better, I'd say, than like a McDonald's Big Mac, because the secret sauce for that uses some really bagging ingredients. But here's what I would do. So if you want a Baconator, or if you want a Dave's Double, like I got here, let's try a bite. Mm. It's the same ingredients, right? This one just has bacon. What I would do to bobby fry it is do this. Check this out, Brad. This is the Baconator, but I got rid of that horrible bun and you could ask him for a lettuce bun. And what do you think, Brad? Looks good, right? It's amazing. This looks amazing. And the benefit of this is it's keto, it's gluten-free. Hold on a second, this looks amazing. Mmm. Wow, wow, wee wow. A little bit of washing it down with some frosty, huh? Oh, oh my God. I'll get to that in a minute. It's a little bit scary. The beautiful thing is, you got rid of that nasty bun that first of all has way too many carbs but it has that nasty corn syrup and soybean oil in there and you put it on a lettuce bun you have the bacon which has a touch of sugar but this is a hundred percent gluten-free diabetic friendly and keto is it ideal no but this is better than almost any sandwich you can get at any fast food so i would get this one for sure you can get any one of the hamburgers with a lettuce bun that's what you want to do um, before we move on to 
the frosty and the chicken sandwich. Um, really quickly, I wanna give a shout out again to the best probiotic on the market, Seed. I've been talking about it in a few different uh, fast food review videos. It was sold out, it's back in stock. Everyone needs a little bit of gut health help, especially if you're eating a lot of fast food. The thing is, a lot of probiotics on the, mar on the market are a waste of money. They die in your stomach and they're expensive, right? The stomach acids eat up the living bacteria. The cool thing about Seed was that it's the Leonardo DiCaprio, the dream within a dream of capsules because it has two capsules. The outer layer actually dissolves in your tummy and it's made of pomegranates. Because pomegranates are high in fiber, it's a prebiotic that feeds your gut bacteria. But then the payload, the actual second capsule, makes it all the way through your intestines down to your colon and delivers 24 strains of bacteria that are not just good for gut health, for bowel movements, really good for your skin, and immune system. I'm huge on probiotics. Everyone I've turned on to this is loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Um, and I got the promo code for you guys. When you click the link down below and use my promo code, you get 15% off your first month's supply. It ships all around the world and it's 30 days money back guarantee. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a probiotic to improve gut health, Seed Symbiotic is the way to go. It is next level. Okay not necessarily good for gut health would be this this is the frosty the chocolate frosty which i used to get this back in the day you used to dip your fries in this bread yeah you, you, you kind of have to do that right oh the texture of a frosty is downright sinful that is so good my issue is this is i believe a small let me double check here a small frosty and it still has 47 grams of sugar, which my friends is 12 teaspoons of, is it cane sugar? Well, yes, it's cane sugar with GMO corn syrup. 47 grams of sugar is crazy. You're only supposed to have 19 and a half teaspoons of sugar a day, or I should say the average American has that. When you're having 12 with your small frosty, there's a little bit of a problem. And then it also has carrageenan. I'm noticing a lot of fast food restaurants use that. It's very disruptive to the gut because it's uh, inflammatory. It's much better to use in, uh, emulsifiers like gel and gum or locust bean gum. Wow, the lunch, lunch rush is picking up, huh, Brad? We got here just in time to time this one perfectly. Okay, where to next? I know, let's go to one of the healthiest options on the menu, the Southwest Avocado Salad. Take a look at that, Brad. That looks good, right? And I'm actually blown away. First of all, the presentation is lovely. A lot of times you go on the websites and they don't look anything like you get at the restaurant. I give Wendy's a A plus for presentation. Everything looks super good. The thing is, this is by far the cleanest salad I've seen maybe at any um, fast food joint around. Let me try a bite here because it's got bacon, it's got Hass avocados, it's got that grilled chicken, and it's tossed in a nice dressing that's not too bad. Mmm. Wow, crispy bacon, creamy avocado. That's fantastic. I don't even know if they dressed it for me. It looks naked. Maybe they put the dressing on the side. That's really good, but here's the interesting thing. We already made the Baconator Keto, ready for the second keto option on the menu. It's this salad. This Southwest avocado salad only has six grams of net carbs, which is crazy and it's huge, and only three grams of added sugar. And that's the reason why I chose it, because the other ones are a little more dicey. But the salad blend, totally fine, right? Romaine lettuce, jalapeno peppers, totally cool with that. The grilled chicken is not bad, but I'll talk about it when I get to the sandwich. Much better than the fried, of course. Um, but here's the deal, the Southwest Ranch dressing, which I don't know if they forgot to toss mine in there. I'm not really seeing it. But with the avocado, I don't know if you need it. That's not that bad. It's a soybean oil based dressing. I mean, who makes soybean oil based dressing at home? No one, right? But they do it fast food because they're super cheap. It's all about the money, right? As Mr. Wonderful says. Um, but instead of using GMO high fructose corn syrup as a sweetener, they're only using a touch of sugar and it really is a touch. And they're using extra virgin olive oil too. They're never gonna put EVOO first because that's a more expensive oil. They do it later just to get a little flavor in there too. Um, and then it has that, you know, not ideal bacon in there too. But my friends, six grams of net carbs. Um, the Parmesan Caesar salad isn't bad either, but the other salads are nowhere near as close as this. You might be tempted to get the apple pecan salad, but the dressing, just the dressing has 15 grams of added sugar, which is just about four teaspoons of cane sugar. So no, you wanna go for the Southwest 
avocado salad. It looks absolutely fantastic. To be honest, I'm pretty sure they forgot the dressing, but I don't even know if I need it. This is really, really darn good. Mm. Keto, best in class. Keto, best in class. You could actually get both these. Maybe do without the chicken and have a solid, solid, low carb, gluten free, diabetic friendly fast food um, option. I'm not even joking there. Okay, I have three chicken sandwiches here, Brad. I have grilled chicken, original chicken, spicy chicken. Here's what I'm gonna do. If you're gonna get a fried chicken here, leave a comment down below. Which of these chicken sandwiches do you think would have the worst ingredients? The spicy one or the original chicken salad? Chicken sandwich. I'll take a bite while you're doing it of the spicy. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, please. To cleanse my palate. Oh, man. Sweet and savory bread. Man, oh, man. If you said original, thinking that the spicy will have like MSG or something in there, you're wrong. This was totally crazy to me. The spicy one is the cleaner one because if I pull up my notes here, I have a lot of notes. <clears throat> oh, the spice. <clears throat> the spice is li lingering. That's a proper spice. It doesn't hit you on the front end, it hits you on the back end there. Okay, here we go. Uh, spicy chicken sandwich is very interesting because it uses real spices. If I go to the regular chicken sandwich, I guess they're like, we gotta bump up the flavor somehow. How do we do it? Look at that. What's the primary ingredient? Monosodium glutamate, MSG, but not once. If you keep going down, there's another one. There's a double dose of MSG. And look at this, there's something called grill flavor. Grill flavor in the fried chicken? Maybe in the grilled chicken, I understand that, but they're putting grill flavor, which is just a manufactured flavor, and a double dose of MSG. Once again, listen, this is very important. Man-made MSG in the powder form that you see here is horrible for your health. It's called an excitogen. It gets your taste buds excited. It sends the message to your brain. Wow, this is good. I need to eat more of that. It's really, really bad for you. Natural MSG, naturally occurring in the form of fermented soy sauce, tomatoes, Parmesan cheese, mushrooms, that's really, really good for you. This is bad. So if you're gonna get a chicken sandwich that's fried here, please get the spicy one. That being said, it's still fried, all chicken sandwiches, in a vegetable or soybean oil that may contain, I love when they do this, one of the following, canola, corn, that'd be okay for fast food, or cottonseed, but it's also fried in hydrogenated soybean oil. It's like, which one is it? You're going from bad to worse, but all of the fried chicken also has the last ingredient. Look at this. It looks like a science experiment, right? It's like the doctor from uh, The Simpsons. A little bit of a dimethyl polysiloxane. You're like, what? Dimethyl polysiloxane is an anti-foaming agent that you find in Silly Putty. I've seen that before. It's actually very common and it's really, really scary. So once again, you want to get regular chicken sandwich. The weird thing is the nuggets, Brad, whether spicy or regular, they don't have MSG. So even the regular chicken nuggets don't have MSG, but the regular chicken sandwich does. If you have to choose, check this out, Brad. One of the sauces here. Let's play, pick your poison here. Which of these sauces do you want to dip your nuggets in? Which one would you guys choose? Just based upon the name, huh? You're gonna to want to get this one. Creamy sriracha sauce, because if you can see those ingredients, which you can't, there's no high fructose corn syrup in this one, which is nice. So let me just dip my spicy on spicy here. Mmm. That's nice. Hold on. The spice is very delayed. I have to put out the fire. Mm. That's right. Not only putting out the fire, but that 47 grams of sugar hits the spot, right? You probably want to get the grilled chicken sandwich here over the fried, because it's fried in those really, really nasty oils. It's not quite as clean as I'd want. Ooh, it does look nice with spinach on there. Look at that, Brad. Who puts spinach on a grilled chicken sandwich? Dave. Dave Thomas is classy as can be. Dang, son. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's really, really good. Once again, Larry David moment here. I'm using all the napkins in the restaurant. Chicken options are very, very interesting. And so is this. This is the chili, right? You're gonna think on a hot South Florida day, it's gonna be nice comfort food. It's pretty healthy. 
It's a little, little scary, but I have to try it and get more hint, hint MSG in my body. Everybody asks me like, oh my God, are you, are you on the toilet all day after you do these um, fast food reviews? Luckily, I haven't had any issues yet. Thanks to Seed. <laughs> Thanks to Seed Probiotic. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. But whenever I do one of these videos, I have a super gut-friendly meal that night. I'll make like a bone broth soup with tons of fiber-rich veggies just to kind of reset my, um, my stomach. Okay, that's a great chili. But it's very, very upsetting to me that they have to use a very tricky MSG form here. If you look at the ingredients, it's not bad, right? You have the chili base. You have a touch of sugar, but it's not that much. And the ingredients are relatively small. Do you guys see what I see here? Once again, put on your, um, your science classes like the, um, the guy from the uh, Simpsons. Mm, disodium inosodate and disodium guayanulate. We talked about this the other week. That's another word for MSG. And they're putting it in the chili to make it more crave-worthy. I feel like a lot of stuff ha is happening behind me, Brad, is it? A Waldo. <laughs> a Waldo. Oh, there's a Waldo. A Wendy's Waldo. So they're putting MSG in there. Just super bad news because it hijacks your taste buds. I would not get that. Without the MSG, I don't know. I make chili all the time. I have a five-ingredient chili in our best-selling five-ingredient cookbook. I don't use MSG. I don't know why they're putting it in there. That's super, super upsetting. Oh. I saved this for last. I didn't mean to do that. The fries. The fries look good. The fries taste good. You said they taste better than McDonald's, right? I'd still go to Chick-fil-A across the street. The waffle cut fries. Are you guys on Team Waffle Cut? Those are actually cleaner because if you look what kind of oil they're cooking this in, hydrogenated soybean oil. So they're taking the worst oil, soybean oil, GMO, highly inflammatory. They're making it hydrogenated with hydrogen and making it a trans fatty acid that your body cannot recognize. And it's really, really bad, way worse for your body than any other oil out there. And they use that dimethyl polysiloxane. Anyone that fries in hydrogen and soybean oil is immediately out. McDonald's does that too. So I would not get the fries here as much as Brad wants to take that fry and dip it into the, uh, into the frosty. I know he does. I wouldn't do that. So overall, not bad options. Maybe the best tasting, prettiest food I've done so far, salad, Southwest salad. Do the Baconator or any burger on the lettuce bun. I'm telling you, it's actually very, very tasty. It's crispy. You get to miss out on all those nasty carbs and high fructose corn syrup. So that is it for Wendy's. Where to next? Brad and I are thinking Burger King and Subway but leave, leave comments down below. We do these videos for you. I poison my body just for you. You guys think secretly I enjoyed this and it's an excuse for me to eat fast food. I do enjoy the flavor, but I don't enjoy putting the poisons in my body, but it's okay, right? I'll, I'll get over it. Um, that is it. Like, subscribe, share. Spread that Flav City love. From Wendy's, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love. Peace. Later, guys.